domestic cats. He says felines are a growing pest problem in this country and he wants them off the streets. Matt McLean was at the meeting. This is Poncho Villa, and this is her cat-loving owner, Heidi Kikilis. It's actually the first time he's really been outside, hence the wide eyes. Heidi's turned up to hear Gareth Morgan explain to the residents of Karori why he wants to turn this into New Zealand's first confined cat suburb. As an ecologist, I like wildlife too, but I think there is definitely a way to compromise, maybe meet in the middle, especially with confined cat. There's no disputing that cats birds or wildlife. Gareth Morgan brought his first public meeting to the Wellington suburb of Karori because of this place, Zealandia. It's an eco-reserve that houses dozens of native birds. It's also a place Gareth calls New Zealand's most expensive cat food factory. He says roaming cats are killing our wildlife. I want cats to be confined so we don't have cats wandering around killing things because we know that 50% of their kill, they just kill for the pleasure. When Gareth Morgan began his anti-cat crusade, there was an idea he wanted to get rid of all the cats in New Zealand. Not true, he says. I don't care how many pets you have, how many cats you have as pets, as long as you can find them. I mean, compounds in your own section or indoors. But he is saying that if cats are found stray or roaming, there needs to be a pound to take them to. And if they're not claimed within seven days, they're euthanized, which is exactly what we do with dogs. Around 100 people turned up at this public meeting, although some stormed out and raged with the businessman's stance. But Gareth says he'll be taking these meetings around the country in the hope his cat confinement ideas become a reality. Matt McLean, One News. A lost 